A cave order linear difference equation is a difference equations of this form. So xn, which is equal to a1 times xn minus 1 plus a2 xn minus 2 plus until ak xn minus k plus ak plus 1, where order ai's are constants. So what does that mean? It means that the number x here, they are numbers in a sequence, and then the difference equations relate all these numbers in the sequence. And then you see here xn depends on the periods one term, xn minus one, two term, xn minus two, three term, xn minus three, until k terms, xn minus k. So that's why it is a cave order linear difference equation. And then why, it is why is it linear? Because you see here, xn is of power one, xn minus 1 is of power 1, xn minus 2 is of power 1, meaning that there's no square, no cube, no square root, nothing to this um, x term. All right? And then all of them in front of all of them in front of them, they got ai's. So they're coefficients multiplied by numbers in front of them. And then at the end they add um, another number. So this is what we call uh, linear. And then we can quickly check the first one. So uh, yk plus 1, which is equal to 3yk minus yk minus 1. So you can compare this one with this uh, example. So one term is related to the previous two terms. That's why it is of uh, second order. And then uh, all the terms, they are of the power 1. And then they, in front of them, there is coefficient 3 and negative 1, which are numbers. So they are linear. All right. And then in the second example, yk plus 1, which is yk squared, all right? So yk plus 1 depends on the periods one term, yk, all right? That's why it's of the first order. And then why is it nonlinear? It's because here you got a square. You don't want a square. You don't want a cube. You don't want a square root. You only want it to be a power of 1. So it is nonlinear, all right? And then we take a look at the third example. So yk plus 4, all right? You, can, you may see that there are certain jump until you get the minus uh, yk. So what are they? The jump would be 0 multiplied by yk plus 3 plus 0, yk plus 2 plus 0, yk plus 1, and then you got minus your yk is equal to 2. So this yk plus 4 depends on the periods 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. That's why it's of the fourth order. And then y is that linear? You can see all the uh, y here, they are of the power 1, power 1, power 1, power 1, and of power 1, all right? And then they are related by coefficients, 1, 0, 0, 0, negative 1, and then at the end you got a 2. So this 2, you can imagine it as the ak plus 1 here, all right? So uh, that's why this is linear, okay? And then we quickly take a look here. So this yk plus 1 depends on yk, depends on yk only. So that's why it is of the first order. Why is it nonlinear? It's because here you got a square, all right? We do not want a square. And then uh, the yk plus 3 here depends on the yk plus 2, yk plus 1, and yk term. So that's, you can see here, the, just that the yk plus 2 and yk plus 1 terms, they got a zero in front of them. And then, it, so it depends on the yk term, so it's of the third order. And then why is it nonlinear? It's because um, the yk is not purely a yk with a simple uh, with a coefficient in front of it. So the the yk is um, being worked on by a function cosine, and that is why it is nonlinear. 